and I'm the education trainee here at Wordsworth Grasmere and uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a really easy Easter craft and I'm in the garden of Dove Cottage which is where the Wordsworth lived about 200 years ago. So um, I thought as we were in the garden with lots of um, daffodils here, they got a little bit battered by the storm, I'd show you how to make a daffodil but you can use any kind of colour, you can make any sort of flower you like um, and later on in the video we're going to um, do a close up of some of the flowers in the garden and um, some of the ones that w the Wordsworth would have had here um, and would have planted themselves so you can really see and get some inspiration from, um, from the garden. So what you're going to need are some cupcake cases, any kind of size case will do, you can, I think these ones are muffin ones, they're a bit bigger um, and any kind of colours, patterns go wild whatever you'd like so I'm gonna start off with a yellow one because they're gonna make a daffodil so if you uh, fold it in half like this and uh, fold it in half again so you get like a nice quarter um, and then what I want you to do is you're gonna cut a kind of like petal shape you can even fold it again if you want to um, uh, to get some like more petals in or um, if that's quite hard to cut, you can just fold it in half and just freehand cut lots of petals. So I'm just going to cut a, a petal, sort of have a look and see what sort of shape daffodils are. Okay, we'll tidy up later. Let's cut these here. So, and you get, open it out and you get a really pretty daffodil shape. Okay, now I'm going to do the centre with uh, an orange cupcake case. So just do the same again. Um, and I'm just going to try and make these petals um, a little bit smaller than the other ones. So it shows up. So I'm just going to make those smaller like that. Lovely. Okay, so now I have a really cute little daffodil. So what you want to do now is kind of hold it flat, pop your finger in and just squeeze the bottom. Yeah, it might be fiddly, so ask an adult to help you. And if you just kind of pinch it at the bottom like that and twist a little bit, and then you can sort of open it out like this. Okay, so you get a really cute little flower shape and you can kind of like faff around with it and uh, get it kind of perfect how you want it, okay? So now you have like quite a few options. So you could get a pipe cleaner if you've got one and uh, poke your pipe cleaner through the middle of both of uh, your flowers and uh, just fold it over in the middle like that and uh, scrunch it up, arrange it nicely and you've got yourself a nice little daffodil like that. You could also just flatten the, um, the bottom of your flower and glue like an art straw on it or um, a lollipop stick or anything you kind of fancy, anything you've got at home you could uh, you could use to, to put your flower on. So you could make kind of loads of these, and I've got another one here, um, and put them in a vase if you liked. I've also done, you don't have to just do two colours, I've done one with three colours here. Or what you could also do is get an adult to help you, um, have a, a piece of uh, wool on a needle, poke your needle through, and what you could do is if you, I'm just gonna grab this one, and you could thread, thread your flowers onto a little garland like that, and you could hang that up somewhere, outside maybe, wherever you wanted. So, I hope that is, uh, that's really easy, and I hope you have uh, a lot of fun creating your own flowers and uh, we'll show you some of the flowers in Dove Cottage Garden up close to give you some inspiration. So I hope you enjoy. 